In the fall, nothing is bigger in Bogalusa than lumberjack football games. Yeah, but last October, one of the few spots the entire community could unite became a place of chaos. Here's Garland Gillen. Big lights, big crowd, band. We were having fun. That game there, it was, it was epic. Bogalusa High Homecoming. The Lumberjacks dominating. A night seniors would never forget. But the joyous atmosphere shattered in an instant. I was in the end zone. And when I first heard it, I looked up. So like we all looked up. When you see now, we looked up again. We thought it was fireworks because we had just scored. So you know, it was like we didn't really think nothing of it. A gunfight erupted yards outside of the stadium gates. Police say three shooters traded nearly 20 rounds. Well, I seen people start running. So I started running. I was just completely shocked. Gunfire that sent fans and players scrambling for safety ended right here in the death of 15 year old Jerry Smith. Officers say he was involved in the shooting. Heartbreaking. Could have been one of my friends, you know. Hey, guys, would y'all go to the locker room so I can get an officer to escort you, please? Officials immediately stopped the game with four minutes still left on the scoreboard. Stunned and feeling defeated, the team still determined to press on with its season. I think the, the community rallies behind the boys. Um, they're very uh, supportive and uh, it was an atmosphere of something we were on the brink of something. But Albany High, they felt differently, arguing it didn't feel safe traveling to Bogalusa's stadium. I'm more worried about our children, home field advantage, last time being on a senior as a senior on a football field. Albany forfeited Bogalusa's last home game of the season, a crushing decision for some of the players. We playing hard on the field, blood, sweat, and tears, playing a game we love and something like that happen outside and like it ruins like takes the shine off us like the positive stuff that we got in Bogalusa that like was going on we doing something positive for the city overshadowed by all the negatives that, that hurt. The players never shook the pain of the shooting even though the Lumberjacks held the number two seed in the state playoffs they lost their first postseason contest. It definitely had an effect on the rest of the season you know because it, all my boys we had nothing to do with that. They had to get the brunt of the negativity, you know, so we lost, we lost a home game, you know. We, we had to take a forfeit, you know, a team didn't want to play. Now the coaches wondered, how do we keep our players safe and busy through a long off season? The Bogalusa Police Department are continuing to investigate this case. Over 10 rounds had been fired into the home. I just wish he had more time on this earth. In 2022, eight homicides took place in the city, according to Bogalusa police crime numbers. I really just stay at home and surround myself with people like that's good with sports and there's like focus on their life who's trying to thrive. I just prefer to stay at home because I don't want to get caught up in nothing that's like that's going on the outside of the world. I don't mind is the devil's workshop, you know, so we try to do a good job of bringing them in, even if we're not doing anything, you know, we're just about a family, about a culture. Recently elected Mayor Tyron Trung, along with law enforcement, authorized another approach to protect the Bogalusa teens. We now have a, a youth curfew in place, meaning that unless you're going to work, um, unless you're participating in a church um, or a school activity, then you have to be inside before a certain time. After six months without any football, Bogalusa is back on the field for spring practice. The whole football team feels like it's home, so it's like what's going outside of this don't really it affect us when we step inside this field house. How good does that feel when you walk into this field house and you see the guys that, that you play with every day there to be with them? It feels good knowing that I'm comfortable around people that you know I can trust, family. It's just a ton of vision in. Like everything is just it's like I'm free. I'm free from all the other stuff. I got, I got 12 minutes, a quarter to play what I love, to do what I love the most. Not all of Bogalusa's troubles can be solved on a football field, but the Lumberjacks can bond the city in a time of despair.
it's huge. I mean, the stadium is packed out. The small town comes together. It's one of the last things that really brings us all together these days. Everybody loves football. And, then, and besides that, the, this group of guys, they're, they're extraordinary. You know, they're, they have high GPAs. Um, they're well respected in the community. Hopefully, um, we can continue to winning. That will help uh, people in the community rally and uh, get more support. Positive stuff we do is going to overshadow all the negative stuff. We're going to come out. We're going to be the light of this city.